Hey guys, it's Shade from Sport the Scene. Uh, I'm here to do even more reviews. So we had submissions from all over the world and that's really cool. Normally we kind of focus on Vancouver, but um, we want to, while we're all quarantined, bring everyone together and review music from all over the, the, the whole world. So that's pretty cool, kind of stoked on it. Uh, let's just kind of dive on into, into it. Um, if you want, please subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing lots more of these reviews. Please give a share. All these artists are awesome and amazing. Uh, please, you know, support them. Go like their Facebook pages. Uh, go buy their merch and their music uh, if you like what you hear. So yeah, um, all these comments and reviews will basically just be my thoughts. Uh, will be just kind of what's going on in my mind when I quickly listen to about a minute, minute and a bit of their song. Um, I'm not going to do a ton of research search like I normally do with a lot of reviews so this is kind of my first impressions I'm sorry if I offend anyone or you know upset people with my comments but this is just my thoughts nice and chunky right off the bat nicely mixed though it's thick, it's uh, heavy, but it's not too, um, you know, like not too busy kind of thing. The guitar has a nice amount of crunch to it. If there's like a synth or something going on in the background, can't quite tell what that is, but it's cool, it adds a little more flavor. Now the beat's getting, you know, everyone's getting pumped. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I uh, love that it went from just kind of like sludgy doom uh, to like kind of like kind of punky, uh, heavy. Some classic headbanging stuff. Some really low gutturals on the vocals. Uh, there's that synth again. So this is cool because um, uh, the track title, whatever, had 8 bits, uh, which is a throwback to video game music on how, you know, you can have 16 bits, but back then they could only put so much data in per song kind of thing. So a lot of times they had a very certain sound around them. Um, yeah, like... It's just really cool they get to bring that in with the heavy music. I love bands that incorporate different things. Yeah, nice and heavy, nice and tight. Those low girl vocals fit nicely in the mix. I wish they were a little louder. Um, but it's definitely a guitar driven track. It's pretty rad. Keep going, guys. Nice. Kind of rock, alternative rock kind of so far. Kind of got that like kind of skater punk kind of sound to it with the drums. Yeah, these are the kind of vocals I was expecting over it. Yeah, definitely something I put over like escape ed, um, mountain biking kind of stuff. Really catchy uh, guitar hooks uh, and nice chord changes really make everything work. Yeah, really nice mixing job. That's kicking snares right there with you. It's got that dirty hat sound. I love the screaming at the end, builds the intensity, brings it back down again. Uh, it's gonna do a double repeat of the riff here and then probably go back into a verse, that's what I'm guessing. There we go. 
But I like the little guitar, uh, a little push at the end, a uh, little pull up with the octaves. Yeah, just really tight. Um, good sound, very kind of uh, in its box kind of thing. And keep rocking, man. Nice, kind of got that bouncy sound already. I'm out of everything. I am out of patience and time. Nice harmonies. Just my head broke down. I'm out of words and rhymes. Who's on top of that? Kind of got that alternative sound going on it, but I love that uh, bounce feel, man. Cool synth sound definitely adding into that. I'm not a fight in the lines. This cat is curious, therefore deserves to die. I hear I wish there was uh, some more of the backing vocals in the chorus rather than just those stabs in the verse. But like little tag run at the end was really catchy for sure. That's kind of what you take away from the song. But I think the chorus could be a little hookier if you had um, just more of those backing vocals, you know, to separate the verse a little more from the, uh, the chorus. But those palm mute guitar bands, that, that brings the song just together. Yeah, really cool sound, love the synth, um, add something different, um, I just wish there was that, that high harmony uh, in the chorus the whole time, which is really catchy, so cool stuff guys. Cool sound so far, definitely different than all the other tracks you've heard. I love well recorded acoustic, definitely kind of like finger style kind of stuff. A little bit of tapping, a little bit of tapping on the body. I could use a little boost of like the 4K uh, area on the EQ, just adding a little bit of more clarity, a little more snap to a lot of it. But it's got a nice well-rounded sound to it, which is pretty nice. It's still got that low end, which I think is, especially on acoustic, if it's just an acoustics, or just one or two acoustics, um, needs that low end on it, or else it just sounds way too thin. So good job on that. I love now that it's kind of got into the body of the song. It's got that rhythm on it. It could even just be one guy. I don't know, but it's pretty sweet. Really catchy. Lots of melodic hooks. A little rhythmic uh, variations, um, little stops, pulls, that kind of stuff, which really um, adds to the flavor, but keeps the moving, keeps the groove. Yeah, sick stuff. Love that twingy sound on the cling. Kind of throwbacks me a bit to like Some of the older, um, well, I'd say 80s, but not quite. Yeah, I guess kind of 80s, 70s sound. Well, there we go, there's something new. You got the piano hook come in. Very atmospheric, I love it. It's kind of chill, back and relax. Um, you know, you're featuring different things, no one's overstepping each other. I 
I love how the guitar is good, but it's not too busy. It's nicely distorted, that allows some sustain, but it's not um, too overdriven. It kind of just flows gently over top. And then back with the piano hook. I think for me the piano is a little bit too too in front. It could either be just taken down a bit back more or just EQ'd a little more out of it, the out of the track. Um, but that's just me. Um, so it just seems like a really nice instrumental track kind of thing so far. I don't know how long it's gonna go for because it seems like it goes on for a while. But I love it, just playing with some dynamics, brings it back down again. Um, brought it up, had some energy. The drums are fairly simple. To me, sound like they're programmed. Um, the whole thing sounds kind of like in the box, you know, like someone sat down at Logic or Pro Tools and just kind of did it all themselves, which is really cool. I do that a lot. Um, but it definitely has a very distinctive feel versus like a band, a uh, live band setup kind of where they flow off each other. But it's getting a little heavier now. So I'm excited to see how the song progresses. Uh, I definitely sit and listen to the whole thing just because it's curious like that, but um, these are short reviews. Uh, so yeah, so I can imagine it's gonna get pretty sweet later on. Um, it seems like it's all instrumental, but really cool stuff. I'd definitely check it out for sure. And that's it for this batch of reviews. Thanks you guys for checking in. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, go check out all the bands and please share the video uh, if you like it, if it uh, brought you you know, a little bit of cool music that you've never heard of. Um, please give it a share with someone you think would else would enjoy it or share it on your Facebook, which helps you know uh, spread it around. Um, all these artists are amazing. They're awesome. Thanks for submitting. Uh, if you want to submit, check out uh, the Van City um, scene at gmail.com send us an email, send us an mp3 and a photo, uh, and then we can do a review. Um, awesome. Keep rock, rocking on, guys. Uh, we're still getting more submissions. Um, I'll be doing this as much as I can, um, but yeah, keep rocking.